absolutely. I it I think it's so great that you guys are recording it the you know the old fashioned. Let's throw it all together. Way. It it makes it more real. Uh, you can really get you can really overthink um, the recording of an album. You can really overproduce. You can really mm -hmm. try to make it perfect, and in losing in in making it perfect, you lose the humanity of it. And we wanted it to sound like we were just in a big old room having fun and recording some really great songs. And I think that comes across. And so we we accomplished our mission for sure. <laughs> what inspires the songs that you write? Sorry, say that again. Um, what inspires the music you write? The music we write is, uh, it's inspired by life situations, mainly romantic ones. I mean, every, isn't every song inspired by a heartbreak? <laughs> um, so. At least with the, with the two originals on the record, they were inspired by, you know, relationships that either didn't work out or that were a challenge um and we're you know young and we have not experienced many uh tumultuous relationships but i do think you know we know what it feels like to be bummed out about you know the opposite sex and so those songs were were inspired by that but then you know i mean there are other tunes that we have written that aren't inspired by um by those sort of situations i wrote a song a while back about me being frustrated with living in the city. At that point in time, I was ready to move to the country and get away from sirens and concrete. And so I have a song about how I want to be in the country again. So um, it's really just life experiences. And I think that's, you know, that's what's so cool about music that really touches people is that it music that is successful in reaching people conveys an emotion that almost everybody has felt. And if they haven't felt it yet, they will. Definitely. So, now, as sisters, uh, there's always, um, well, from my personal experience, I know that there's sibling rivalry. How, how do the two of you get along so well? Uh, <laughs> you think we get along well. <laughs> you think we do. But, um, no, I mean, we, behind closed doors, we can be really feisty, really, really <laughs> ugly to, to each other sometimes, but. I think at the end of the day, we just realized that we're all each other has in this business, and we, we wouldn't have it any other way right. than doing, doing it together. We take things out on each other because we're too nice to, to be mean to strangers. We don't like to just, <laughs> we don't like to be mean to strangers, so it's easier to be, <laughs> to be mean to each other. And we definitely have our moments where we, you know, need our personal space on our own. But, I mean, at the end of the day, like she said, you know, we're in this together, and we got to make it work. And so we'll have a horrible fight one day, and then the next day we're, you know, laughing about something stupid that one of us did. And so um, we make it work. We're typical sisters. Everybody thinks that everything is just so hunky-dory, and we're like best friends forever. But <laughs> that's not necessarily true. <laughs> Beat each other. That's the secret of the secret sisters is that we almost kill each other every day. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like my sister and me. Um, Play. Uh, if you, if the two of you weren't singers, what would you be doing? Um, this is Lydia. I would probably still be in school, um, going for a graphic design degree. Oh, yeah. Nice. I At the time that we were discovered, I was a nanny in Nashville. Um, I had just graduated college, actually, last year um, with a degree in music business. Oddly enough, I wanted mm -hmm. to be a music publisher. And so I have a degree in all of this craziness that we're going through right now. <laughs> um, I'm not using it the way that I thought I would, but it's funny how life prepares you for things that, that you don't see coming. <laughs> oh, yeah. I I'm Well, I'm very glad that you are... Or singing, you you guys sound absolutely amazing. Um, <laughs> I was wondering where did you get the name Secret Sisters from? <laughs> that was a hard, uh, that was a, a difficult task to accomplish. We were originally going to be called the Rogers Sisters, but um, that was actually already taken, and so we couldn't use that name. But we still really liked, you know, that the the sisters part of it. We thought that that sounded really classic and. You know, it just, it's so fitting. Um, and so we were researching. We tried a million different things, and all of them were taken. And then somehow our manager came across the phrase, the secret sisters, and he was like, that sounds kind of cool. And so we looked it up, and it turns out that nobody had claimed that. And so we said, well, let's just do it. And oddly enough, it has really kind of worked in our favor because, you know, 
nobody knew anything about us. Nobody had ever heard of us. Nobody had ever seen us perform before until all of this started happening. So it's, it's kind of fulfilled itself in a backward sort of way. Huh. That's very, that's really cool. I, yeah. I love that. Um, <laughs> now, um, before we go, is there anything that you'd like to, any last thing you'd like to say to our site visitors? Um, just, we hope you, <laughs> we hope you buy the record and love it. And, uh, comes out October 12th. yeah, our record okay. comes out, uh, six days from today, October 12th, it'll be out and, uh, come see us at a show and, you know, just get ready. Cause we're going to sing our little hearts out for you. <laughs> We're actually going to be um, oh. we're going to be going on tour in November with Ray Lamontagne and Levon Helm. We're doing eight dates with them, yeah. um, and then we're also being um, we got asked by T Bone to uh, join him on a tour that he's doing. It's called the Speaking Clock Review, and it'll be um, you know some no name people like Elton John and <laughs> Leon Russell and. Uh, uh, John Mellencamp, Greg Allman, just a whole slew yeah. of, of really talented people. And so that's coming up in about a week from now. We will be heading out on that tour with them. So going to be touring some, and we hope to see a ton of people that's in amazing. person. <laughs> that's amazing. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Well, Lara and Lydia, it was absolutely lovely speaking with you. Thanks so much for taking the time so to talk to me. No, no problem. We enjoyed it. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us. All right. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, too. Bye. 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 Bye.